where we are looking at creative solutions to problems within our community. And uh, we've got a, a lot of individuals here that were um, uh, instrumental in the success of this program because I, I'm here to tell you a little bit about where we are with the program. If you remember, we started at the beginning of the year. Um, our police department started gathering intelligence information on a specific location in the city of Sarasota, gathering information about uh, street-level drug dealers. And then in June of this year, we actually went out and conducted a sweep and we arrested a number of individuals for various crimes dealing with the distribution of controlled dangerous substances within our community. Out of that group, we had a two-prong approach with how we were going to deal with these individuals. The first prong was we were going to take the most uh, violent offenders, the one that had criminal histories, and in cooperation with our state's attorney's office, we were going to prosecute those individuals to the fullest and make sure that they got the highest level of of drug um, of uh, time in jail. And then we identified six individuals out of that group who we felt uh, were candidates for an opportunity to rehabilitate their life and be able to be indoctrinated and embraced by the community, and including from the police department and citizens within our community to bring them back into the fold. And these six individuals were approached by our detectives that we actually went to their houses and spoke with them. And on August 27th of this year, we actually had a call in where we had a number of our partners, including the Suncoast Workforce, the School Board for Sarasota County, the Technical Institute, the Career Edge, uh, the State's Attorney's Office, the Focus Group, um, Coastal Recovery, um, many of our elected officials uh, for the uh, Commission for the City of Sarasota, our City Manager. And we actually had a call in with the six individuals. We asked them to come in to uh, talk with us. We actually uh, wanted them to hear what we had to offer them as deferring their prosecution. And we also had a, a number of mentors that were going to be here to help them, help them get education, help them get jobs, help them get uh, uh, first step help to overcome addictions problems and issues. And I'm very happy to say 100% of the individuals, all six, came in to that call in. It was a wonderful night. A lot of people spoke. And uh, I heard a lot of uplifting things from the individuals as well as the uh, partners within our police department and uh, working within our police department. So that's where we are today. Um, it's been since August 27th. Our police department's been active in our community looking to see if these individuals are back out dealing drugs. And I'm happy to tell you so far, no. Uh, we haven't had any information that they're engaged in any type of criminal activity and behavior. We've been working very closely with their mentors and with them uh, to make sure they're continuing down a path of success. This is only the beginning for the Sarasota Police Department's partnership with its community, and this was only our first opportunity to engage with um, our community and citizens to help individuals just like this. And we have this is our pilot program, and we're continuing it on. As a matter of fact, we just recently used this for some prostitution uh, stings that we did, and uh, we're able to help, help the individuals that we got in that sting to get some help also. And we're gonna use this formula because it's, it's a successful formula, and we hope to keep moving this forward. I thank all of our partners. Um, I know there's some other individuals. I've got Lieutenant Pat Ledwith, who was the commander who led this and has done an outstanding job. I have to commend our narcotics unit and our street enforcement units. They've done a great job in, in identifying the, the individuals. I thank our state's attorney's office, um, Ed Broski and his associates for their cooperation. It's been wonderful. Um, also have to recognize our vice mayor, Willie Shaw, as well as our other um, uh, city commissioners that are here, um, uh, Suzanne Atwell, Susan Chapman, and especially the backing of our city manager who has be believed in this from the beginning, Tom Barwin, who has been supportive, who's given us all the latitude that we needed um, because he believes in community policing and believes in doing the right thing. And um, I hope I haven't forgotten anybody because there's so many partners, but I do want to lastly thank the media that are here today um, who have been our vital partners in this and have been getting the information out to the community and, and updating citizens on this and reporting uh, the success. So I feel like this is a um, very positive for our department and for our community. And I'm going to turn this over to Pat. I know he has a couple words, and then I'm going to ask our vice mayor, uh, Willie Shaw, to come up and say a few words also. And I will take questions once this is over. So Pat, come on up. Well, I think the chief covered most of what I could say. I, I'd like to recognize uh, Detective Dave Grant, 
uh, and Mike Jackson, who have really, they were the, the backbone behind this effort. And uh, we do have some DVDs from the night of the call-in available for you. Um, certainly couldn't have done anything without Vice Mayor Shaw, who's been very, very involved in this entire process. Uh, it's all about breaking cycles, and that's what we're trying to do is break cycles. Uh, focus group couldn't have done it without our mentoring partners. Uh, this is a true community effort and just shows we're all part of the whole. Uh, so everybody's done a great job and we appreciate it. Vice, Vice Mayor. Mayor. Thank you, Chief Lieutenant Whit Ledbeth. Uh, to this community and to all of our partners, focus. Pastor uh, Lumpkin, Pastor Greenwich, and to my fellow commissioners. The intent of this initiative was to once again rebuild the trust within our law enforcement agency and the community. That work has begun, it is moving forward uh, at such a great pace uh, that though we have some of our community members presently on board, it has spread itself throughout the community. A lot of this work that was done by law enforcement did have a lot of community participants in it. We are very, very proud of this effort. We are looking forward for it to go further than just uh, uh, the change your lifestyle, I believe it is, for the prostitution. This process has many, many rewarding uh, aspects to it that will prove itself in more than just the crime initiative, but it will be a holistic change to the way both law enforcement and its community policing, partnership policing as it is here in Sarasota defined, and the way the community receives the loyal. This is our beginning, and as always, it is the first step begins the journey to change. I have uh, previously used five of the alphabets. I continue to use them. Attitude change brings about behavioral change, which will bring about a cultural change, which will determine the destiny and the decisions we make that will bring about an economic change for all of us. I do want to wish you all the very best. And as always in District 1, we say what? We're one for all and? All for one. Thank you. Just want to um, reiterate that this is not just a one-time uh, deal for the Sarasota Police Department. This isn't one operation. Um, this is a philosophical change and uh, uh, philosophy that our department is going to be continuing on. It's not about just putting the uh, criminals in jail. It's about identifying individuals that we can help and, uh, and change one life at a time. And uh, that's our commitment. And we're going to do it in the communities. We're going to identify areas um, based on the feedback we get from citizens within our community. And uh, we encourage you to call us if you have any concerns or complaints. So at this point, I'll take questions from any of the media here. 